In this lesson, I want to explain how to select objects in SimLab Composer. It's like other software. You can click to select. I explained what is this gizmo and its quick toolbar. Holding Control to select multi object if you want, and move together. If you insert a simple object to the SimLab Composer, it's in Geo, and it automatically go under parent uh, <coughs> container car called folder container. Uh, this is a parent, it is a child. Uh, this is very important for VR creation. We'll be explained what's the benefit of this work in SimLab. The SimLab does this work with purpose. And for example, in this uh, situation, this uh, object, as you can see, it's under a folder. And after that, it's under another folder that contains both of them. When you select that, this is a quick toolbar. I will explain that more. But here, it's a selection up. As you can see, when you select this arrow, <clears throat> it's move the selection uh, one step up. And move the selection one step up. When you select it, if you want to go completely at the big parents, you double click on it. It's go and select a living room. If you uh, click this icon, negative icon, it collapses all of the uh, this parent and child, the hierarchy. And as you can see, the whole all of this uh, living room is in the one <coughs> uh, container or folder. So when you double click on an object, it's go to the main parent. But if you hold and shift and double click, it's go to its parent. It's very important. So holding shift, double click. Or if you hold shift, another double click, it's go jump to the uh, other uh, parent. As you can see, this is in a folder. Both of them are in another folder and we can close it this this and this and this going to the one assembly folder you can move both of them you can do it with another object it's very simple for example in this sphere i will explain them more here you can simply copy that or you can simply create shape another you can select it here another cube Close that. As you can see, we have a box and a sphere that they are inside them. They are in geo, through the job. You can select them both and right click and change parent. Or sorry, not change parent. We have to select them. Uh, sorry, add parent. Add the parent. As you can see, both of them go to assembly parent here, and you can. When you select that, you can select them both. Okay, now you can delete. Uh, as you can see in this software, when you want to select a whole object with one click and drag, as you can see, we, I, <clears throat> if I want to click and drag, because in a left click, the rotation is set on this uh, shortcut. We cannot select and click and drag like a rectangle selection other, like other software. Here it is. As you can see, this is a default view behavior. If, if this means you can click and drag, pan, right click. But if you want to pan with just left click, you can select it. If you want to <coughs> zoom, you can select it. Default. But we have something called rubber band selection. In this software, it's called rubber band. Other software is a rectangle selection. As you can see, left click is rotation. When we want to lock it and select it, we can hold Alt, holding Alt and then click and drag and uh, any object that uh, um, goes in this uh, rectangle will be selected. And you can select and group them if you want. Or if you want to add to selection, you have to hold Alt, Control and click and drag to add selection. If you want to remove that selection, you can hold, o, hold o, Alt and Shift and click and drag. It's not important in any direction. It's uh, delete from <coughs> selection. Here it is. It's append to selection, current selection. You can hold Alt, Control. If you want to remove, if you want to append, if you want to remove, hold Alt, Shift. And remove from selection. 
Okay, that's it. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.